Hi guys, this video is all about how your family background affects your participation in physical activity. Firstly, one element of your family's background has to do with your socioeconomic status. This is a measure of an individual's or family's economic and social position in relation to others based on income, education and occupation. Your socioeconomic status affects what you do or, or how you participate in physical activity. So for example, people with um, more money might do things uh, like skiing or snowboarding because they can afford to go up the mountain and to get a season pass. Uh, it might mean that they can afford to have a yacht. So um, the people up in Auckland around the viaduct, um, they're obviously participating in yachting far more than those people who are from a lower uh, socioeconomic status uh, background who can't afford, say, running shoes, let alone a, a floating vessel. Um, however, socioeconomic status does not uh, affect how often or how much physical activity that you actually do. So you can still be really physically active and have a low or come from a low socioeconomic status, um, and you can also be not very active uh, and come from a low socioeconomic status. So it doesn't actually have, um, it's not related to, to how much money you do or do not have. These stats are taken from the uh, YPS study, the Young People Survey, uh, which was taken in 2011. Um, it has a few bits and pieces on there that break down uh, students' participation in physical activity down into the top 10 sports, depending on the, um, the decile of the school that they attend. So swimming is along the top, uh, regardless of your socioeconomic status. Um, the type of swimming that you're participating in might vary there. They do consider um, going for a swim um, just once. Um, that means that you're a swimmer, apparently, in the survey. So you might just be down the corner um, of the river doing some manus, um, or you could be down at your lavish indoor pool swimming lengths with, with your instructor. So it doesn't differentiate between the two. But you can see that regardless of your socioeconomic status, that swimming is the most popular physical activity for all young people in New Zealand. Uh, when you move down that list, there's only one or two in there um, that would really um, sort of stand out to me as ones that cost lots of money. So cycling um, is one that um, would, would cost a fair bit of money. Road cycling, so it's not mountain biking, um, and you don't um, you don't really see that down to around about eighth on the list for people with low socioeconomic status, um, as opposed to people who do have money. Um, that's up in third. Um, other than that, though, there's not a huge um, differentiation. Um, between the types of sports that, that are being participated in. The next few slides are all about having athletes for parents um, or parents as coaches. So most of your life lessons do come from your parents and it's only natural for a child to want to be whatever that their parents are. So this could be a little bit more enticing to follow in the footsteps of your parents if they were really successful professional athletes. Uh, and many people have played sports while they were young with their dad, with their mum, um, and they play in the same position or they play the same sport. Um, and they quite often uh, they might play that sport with their siblings, but very rarely do they actually play with their, um, with their own parents, uh, other than if their parent might be their coach. So a few examples of um, parents and kids who have been uh, in the same sport or had the same success or similar success. Um, the Manning family is a, is a prime example of this. Archie Manning uh, on the left there and, and his two sons, um, Peyton and Eli. So Archie was a, a quarterback, um, played for Mississippi College, then selected um, by the Saints uh, in the NFL draft in 1971. He's the second overall pick. Um, Peyton Manning went to Tennessee and then uh, played for the Colts, holds loads of records for the Colts for most um, touchdown yards, most touchdown passes, etc. Um, then Eli um, was drafted by the um, Giants. He went to Ole Miss, um, the same school that his dad went to. Um, in this case, Muhammad Ali, arguably one of the greatest um, male boxers of all time. Um, his daughter is... Um, uh, Layla Ali, she's, she is known as one of the best, if not the best, female boxer of all time. She holds records of 24-0 and 0 with 21 knockouts um, in her nine-year career. Uh, and she obviously had some pretty big shoes to fill, but she wanted to go down that boxing line as well. So followed in Muhammad's footsteps. Um, bringing it a little bit closer to home. Um, this is um, Frank Oliver and Anton Oliver, both um, All Blacks. 
Um, they are one of five combinations of All Blacks father and son combos that we have in New Zealand. The um, Fitzpatrick, um, Brian and Sean Fitzpatrick, um, Ray and Andy Dalton, Graham and Murray Mixted, as well as um, as Warwick and Tom Taylor uh, make up the rest of that that little combo group. Um, so yeah, when your dad's an All Black, um, you aspire to be an All Black, and um, I guess you have a few more pathways. And most of us have aspired to be All Blacks at some point. Uh, but when your dad's in all black, yeah, you have a bit more pressure and, and probably a little bit more inside knowledge into how that could actually happen. Parents as coaches. Um, there's quite a few of these. I'm sure a lot of you have been coached by your parents in the past. Um, yeah, but why haven't we been as successful? Some of the most successful athletes in the world who have been coached by their parents are the Williams sisters, um, Venus and Serena Williams. Um, they're father came up with a 78 page plan for his daughter's success in tennis. Uh, he started teaching them the game from the age uh, three or four. Um, he himself was getting coached and he would use some of that inspiration in, into sessions with the girls. Um, he brought in other rules like boyfriends weren't allowed because he didn't want uh, any sort of ideas of, of relationships and early motherhood to enter the mind of, of his kids. And one thing he was really good at was really making the sessions really fun so that the girls actually volunteered. They said, hey, I want to go and play tennis. I don't want to um, you know, be at home just stuffing around. I want to be out there playing tennis. So he didn't force it upon them. Another really good example of a father who, uh, who set up success for his boy was um, Tiger and Earl Woods. Um, he's quoted as saying that Tiger took to the game immediately, much like himself, and that he had an instant infatuation with it. And just like his dad, he wanted more and more and more. So like the Williams um, father, Earl didn't push Tiger into it. Um, he really just wanted to get out there and to play. He requested to go out and to play. Um, and uh, I guess yeah, he didn't demand it. So he, he would feed the hunger for Tiger to get out there and to play, but he didn't demand that Tiger would go out and play. And he's here, obviously had a lot of success uh, in the golfing world too. Funnily enough, Earl only actually took up golf one year before um, Tiger did. So, you know, that's, that's one, another example of um, just like the Williams father. Um, he was sort of passing on knowledge um, as he got it. Uh, another example close to the home of the Barrett brothers. Um, so the three Barrett brothers pictured here um, with their dad Smiley um, or Kevin Barrett. Um, as well as the mother Robin. So um, Smiley Barrett played a lot of rugby. The, the dairy farmers played a lot of rugby for Taranaki uh, in the 90s, also played for the Hurricanes. And their mother um, was known as quite a fast runner and a talented basketball or netball player. Um, so these three boys, there are other brothers in their family too. Um, so you've got um, Geordie Barrett, uh, Scott Barrett in the middle, and Bowden Barrett on the right. And you've got another brother called Kane, who was in the um, Auckland Blues. Uh, but he's had concussions and he's been out for the last sort of three or four years with some symptoms from that. So these three boys just came through. They got to play a lot of footy together. Big family, eight um, siblings, I think. And they just played lots and lots of footy, lots of cricket, lots of um, front yard, backyard games. And so therefore they were constantly getting um, lots of repetition uh, of, of the skills. And so they kept getting better and better and better. Um, they were also coached by um, their dad at times too. Um, and obviously pushed into, into success. But again, it's the fun element. It's the intrinsic, the internal motivation that have made these boys um, really good, the good work ethic um, that they've um, been given from their parents. So the argument really is, you know, what's more important? Is it your work ethic um, and, and your background um, that your parents instill into you, uh, or is it the genetic background that your family give you? Uh, and, you know, when you look at these two examples of having parents who are really top draw athletes um, or parents who are really good coaches but maybe aren't the best athletes, you know, which one is actually more important? Nature versus nurture is, is a good way to put it. Um, you know, is it your genetic makeup that makes you a really good athlete or is it the amount of hard work that you're going to put on? There's a really good quote that I um, quite, quite like that is that uh, hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. And I think that really just sums everything up uh, in, in one uh, little nutshell. It doesn't matter how good your genetics are. Um, if you're not going to put in the hard work, then you're never going to be as good. But quite clearly, your upbringing you know, and what your parents give you, both genetically, financially, etc., does have a bearing on, on what you do and how you participate in physical activity. Um, so have a think about it, how this has affected you, for you and for those people around you. See ya.